So I've logged into my email and I'm using my email client here which is Squirrel Mail. Now what I can do is I can save changes on this page um, and our file has been saved successfully. Now what we can do is we can come in here and just refresh and we've got an unexpected T variable on line 4 so let's go check this error out before we proceed. So let's go down to line 4, ah, that's the reason is because I have um, on line 3 I didn't incorporate a semicolon at the end of my line so let's save changes again and let's refresh. Okay so we've got a uh, confirmation message, email has been sent to alex at phpacademy.org Let's go over to my email client and click back onto my inbox. Okay, so you can see that in bold, a new email has popped up. And this is from someone at phpacademy.org. Now, the subject is this is a test email, which does correspond to what we specified um, in our variable here. This is a test email. So if we click on it and go in further, we can see that it says this is a test email um, and then hope you got it. Okay, so my mistake, this has not correctly processed. And the reason being, I can already tell you the reason being, is because we haven't specified this in double quotation marks. And it hasn't processed these because we're not using double quotation marks. So what we could do is we could append on double quotation marks and then back to uh, normal again. Uh, there. There. Okay. Um, or you can just enclose this completely in quotation marks, it's entirely up to you. Okay, so let's save the changes again and resend the email. And let's refresh. Okay, email has been sent. Again, we get the same confirmation message. Get, let's go back to our inbox. Okay, we've got that again. Let's click on it. And you can see that now we've incorporated the new line break. Okay, so what happens if we want to specify a name by um, this? As you can see that things like Twitter and people per hour have already sent um, their email address through with a name attached. So um, we want to change this to be more user friendly. We, oh no, we don't need to do that. That was my test notes from earlier. We need to come into this page and we simply need to say PHP Academy there and um, in fact no we don't we need to say from PHP Academy and then in uh, a less than and then a greater than sign we put the email address so let's save the changes there let's go back and refresh our page so we resend the email back to squirrel mail email client and you can now see oh we need to log in again Okay, so I've logged back in and you can see that the email is from PHP Academy this time with the same subject and then the um, the uh, content of the email. Now you've probably noticed that we've got a bit of extra white space just before our message. And this is because when we... No, not... Don't do that again. Um, when we are, um, are editing this, it's automatically going to take into account I think, um, I'm not too sure this is um, correct of me, but we're automatically going to take into account the space before this. So if we put this on a new line and we save, I think what that will do is it will get rid of that space before. Let's just double check. I'm not entirely sure. It might just be this email client. Okay, yeah, it is. So if you find things like... Um, if you find things like um, too many spaces down or, or anything like that, this body string is going to be taken literally. Um, so I could say uh, this is a test email um, and then hope you got it. Um, if I was to go down, I am actually creating myself a new space. But it's always better to use these uh, backslash n um, line breaks. Okay, so that is the very basics of sending an email with PHP. Like I said, if you're having trouble using your local server, like if you have an XAMPP installation, then try to upload a PHP file or create a PHP file as I have on a text editor on an actual paid um, hosting service and a server that has um, the uh, send mail uh, activated. Then you'll be able to use the mail function within PHP.